Sarah here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's soap is inspired by this mold right here. My best friend went to, I want to say Joanne Fabrics, and found this mold. <laughs> One of those craft stores, and she was FaceTiming me and showing me all the different molds they had. So she found this one, and it's got some really cute ice creams on it, and it just got me to thinking about doing another ice cream themed soap. So that is what we are going to be making today, and I'm just going to get started. I've got my oils here. They've been melted down and left at room temperature. There's some kaolin clay in there and some coconut milk powder. I'm going to add my water and lye solution that has a little bit of sodium lactate to it. And I'm just going to get that to, I don't know, a very, very light trace, if even that. I really just want all of these oils to barely be mixed together so that I can keep this at a very fluid consistency. So I've got three bowls here. I'm going to split this batter into these three containers. Into this one I have some Berry Twist Mica from Nurture Soap. And I'm going to try to do this as evenly as I can. It's not perfect. And this one is some Purple Haze Mica from Nurture Soap. And into this little guy I have some Summer Kiss Mica from Soapbox Micas. And I have just dispersed them in some of my oils already to make them easier to mix in and I even have a different method that I've seen a lot of soap makers do lately and I've tried it on a batch of soap that I did not record just because I wanted to try it out myself before I went and recorded it but I've seen Aphelios Soapery using a whisk a whole bunch and a lot of soap makers have picked up on that technique so I am going to try that today I've got this teeny tiny little spatch or whisk that I got from probably another craft store and I thought it was super cute. <laughs> so I'm just going to whisk in each of these colors before I add my fragrance and I guess just give them a whirl. I've blended them all up. I've tried to keep it at a very light trace. It's still very fluid. I am loving these colors together. The reasons why I chose these colors was because of the fragrance. Fragrance I picked is Berries and Cream by Crafter's Choice. It has some Vanillin in it and I don't want that to discolor my soap any. So I did add a little bit of vanilla color stabilizer to it. I'm going to hand mix this in. And I'm going to make sure all the bottoms are scraped and that that color is evenly distributed and nothing is sticking to the sides. And then we'll get our mold over here. This fragrance smells really good. And so far, the reviews said that it behaves very nicely. And I'm hoping to take advantage of that and do a tiger stripe uh, swirl technique. It has been a while since I've done one of those. It's probably been like a full year. So curious to see if I'm still capable of achieving that. So I'm mixing in this fragrance and then getting my mold and alternating each of these colors to hopefully get a tiger stripe. The notes in this are raspberries and blackberries and some vanilla cream and I think it's going to go very well with this fragrance just keeping with the berry theme and I'm trying to think about how I actually want to swirl this because I want to separate these colors a little bit because they are very similar one's like purple one's purple pink and one's pink so I'm trying to think of what the best way to layer them would be and I think I'm going to go with this lighter pink, the purple, and then the dark pink. And so I'm just putting stripes down this. So pouring one stripe into another and alternating. And it's going to take a while and it might make a mess, but in the end, I hope it turns out the way I want.
So here are the soapy embeds that are going to go on this soap. I made some popsicles out of the mold I showed you guys in the beginning. Some of these are made out of cold process. If I ever had like leftover cold process, I just threw it like this one is, threw it in a mold. Um, this one is cold process. This is melt and pour. And then I made these little ice cream cones. I'll leave a little insert on how I did those. The bottom are melt and pour and the top are soap dough. And there's some berry and some chocolate and then there's some mint chocolate chip ones in there. And to get the chocolate chips, I added some black sea salt in there. So that is pretty cool. Each bar is going to get one of these. So it'd either be like a popsicle or an ice cream cone on each bar. They're all going to be a little different. But let's get the soap topping icing on this loaf. I got a Wilton 8B tip here and some creamy looking vanilla frosting ice cream topping is what I was going for. And we're just going to put dollops all over this before we put the embeds on. I'm really excited about the end result of this. I've got some other things going on top as well. I'm just going to make this like an ice cream extravaganza with all the toppings on it. And there's going to be a lot going on in the top of this soap. The embeds that I made, again, I said some of them are made out of melt pour, some are made out of uh, soap dough. I don't get around to making soap dough creations too often, but when I do, I like to look up clay tutorials. Also, I am no expert whatsoever at making things in soap dough. I just try my best. B over at Sorcery Soaps, she is a master wizard witch of making any type of soap dough creation. So if you guys want to go see some really neat stuff, check her out. <laughs> she is an inspiration, absolutely, but I am an okay soap dough um, creator. It's kind of like molding with clay. That's why I look up different videos and I will even leave the video, I have a lot to leave in the description box, of the particular soapy or clay molding video I watched for ice cream if you guys want to try it yourself or if you just like watching those things or if you make clay I just find them so inspirational I mean anything that I want to do with soap dough I just kind of look up clay tutorials and usually or even with icing if you make cakes I mean a lot of that can be applied to soap as well so let me just keep adding my little dollops on here and tell you guys a little bit about a event Bradley and I went to. In the We Will Rock You Soap, I told you guys I went out with a friend to a restaurant that was hosting a British night and she won four tickets to Brit Fest or British Fest here in Maryland. And we finally got to take advantage of that. And I think it was July, no, it was in June. It was like June 28th, I wanna say somewhere around there but it was really hot is what i'm getting at because it's in the middle of summer ever since i was a little girl i have been obsessed with all things either irish or english you name ireland or england and i can tell you some of my favorite foods so this this is the main reason why i go to these kinds of events is for the food I was planning on going and stocking up on all of the British goodies I can get my hands on. So we went to a place called the Timonium Fairgrounds, which I go to a lot because they're always hosting events. I have a couple more events to go to there, and from experience on this past visit, it was about 100 degrees out, muggy and humid, and just miserable in the middle of a field. It's like a horse, horse track. And in the middle is like soccer fields and football fields and that's where they were having this event. It was all outside and there was no shade anywhere, really anywhere to sit. So we were all a little bit miserable and we really didn't last long. And then it rained and everyone went away. Anywho, so I don't think we were missing out too much. It's the third year that they were holding this and much better than the first time we um, attended it. They had bands that were inspired by the Beatles and what is that other band that I can never think of? Like Mick Jagger. 
This Rolling Stones, that's what it is. There you go, my brain still works. They had all kind of British goodies and Scottish stuff, like from vendors to food trucks. And my favorite shop was there, which is who pretty much hosts this whole thing, is the um, British grocers called the Queen Grocers. And they just stock up on all kinds of British goodies. And of course, I filled my bag with $40 worth of British goodies. <laughs> My friend Sarah and I put on our Union Jack gear and they had lots of antique cars there from Aston Martins to Mini Coopers that you can go look at. They were really cool to see these kinds of cars. Some of them actually came from England, so the steering wheel was on the opposite side of the car, <laughs> which is always really cool to see those in the US. Uh, my favorite cupcake place, Flavor Cupcakery, was there. They had a Scottish food truck, so we tried haggis puffs. The boys, sorry, the boys tried the haggis puffs. I just stuck with the sausage rolls and the iron brew. Um, they did have an ice cream truck there that served um, lactose-free. I think I'm saying that right, lactose-free, so they're dairy-free. That's what I want to say. Dairy-free ice cream. So let's see if I can get my ice cream on here. And the main reason why I wanted to go to this ice cream truck is because they were serving, they were called 99 Flake Bars, which basically is a British styled ice cream that has a chocolate flake bar on top of it. But when I got in line, I saw a sign for something called chocolate therapy and I thought, do I want a plain chocolate or plain vanilla ice cream with a chocolate bar in it or do I want this chocolate therapy bar? I'm trying to line up these embeds here. They are a little big. I'm trying to get them on there so I can fit them all. But the chocolate therapy was a it doesn't even matter how they, it's kind of like, why am I trying to put these on in any particular order? They're going to get cut up anyway. But I guess for the end result and the beautiful picture I'm going to get, I just broke my glove. Um, I am having difficulties. I am just going to put these on, as alternating as nicely as I can. Back to my ice cream story. It was a activated charcoal cone with chocolate soft serve on it. It had a dusting of activated charcoal on it and some Oreo crumbs. It also had some maple flavored uh, cotton candy on it. That's what I'm thinking of, cotton candy. So it was just like the craziest concoction of an ice cream I've ever seen. And I'm the kind of person that I love unusual flavors. If I'm gonna eat ice cream, I want things like lavender and earl grey. There's a place called Bloom's Brooms near us it's a farm that makes ice cream and they do like a rice pudding or what's some other ones? Some cornbread. They always make some really interesting flavored ice creams and that's what I'm about. So that's why I had to try that one instead. And I have to rearrange these here because I'm not going to be able to fit them all on here. But I did it. They're all on. Perfectly aligned. Next up I'm going to stick these little cherry looking gumballs on each one of these bars. I've got some sprinkles. Actually, I think I'm gonna pause and put some of the snowflake sparkle on here to give it kind of a icy, frosty look to it. And then I'll continue with my embeds. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I'm gonna put some mountain pour drizzle on here. It's gonna be great. What is the most unusual ice cream flavor you guys have ever tried? Tell me in the comment section down below or that you would or you've heard of and would want to try. All right, back to my in beds here. Next up, I've got some pretty little sugary sprinkles called the Diamond Melody by Wilton the sprinkle on here. I also forgot to mention when I was putting that icing on, did anyone notice the ugly colors 
that morphed when I, when I got done with the soap, the pretty pinks and purples were like shades of poop. <laughs> so hopefully, one can hope that those colors turn back, which 90% of the time they do. So I'm not too worried about it. So I am going to put on some sprinkles. I'm gonna put on a melt and pour drizzle with some of that summer kiss color. And I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours. And then I'm gonna actually, you know what? I can't let it sit for 24 hours because I'm not gonna be here. It's gonna to have to sit. Today is Thursday. It is going to sit here until Monday, until I come back from our little trip to Deep Creek. And then I'll be able to cut it. So that's going to be me wondering and hoping and wishing I could cut into it all weekend, but I'm just going to have to be patient and wait. And then I'm going to stamp it. So that's what I was getting at. I bought a stamp with my logo on it and I am going to officially put my mark on my soap. So I'm really excited about that. To lock this all in, I've got some mountain pour. And I'm just going to drizzle this all over the soap. Top it off with a little more uh, glitter and call it a day. I love it. This looks so delectable. I'll bring you guys in for a close-up also. Alright, back to cut this. This has been sitting for the three days because, well probably more than three days, this is going on day four because I went away uh, for the weekend. And I'm happy to report that the colors have morphed back. So I've got those pretty pinks and purples that I wanted. But let's see if I got the design. It's the first cut. This is not bad. I like it. Let's see how it smells. Delicious. Now I'm going to get the stamp together and I haven't quite decided how I wanted the logo to be on here. It's like, do I want it to be in the very middle? Do I want it to be on the side in the corner? Or do I want to let these bars harden up before I put the stamp on? Or am I going to put it on? While it's freshly cut and soft, there are just so many options and things to contemplate. So I'm going to mess around with these different ideas. So I'll try putting the stamp on once I'm done cutting them and then I'll leave maybe some of them to harden and see if I like that any better. But I did buy a mallet for the um, harden bars and stamping them. Oh, this is just so cute. I love it so much. And it just smells so good. It's such a good scent. Definitely sticks in there. Got a couple more of these. Let's see. I really do like this design. I'm so happy I got around to doing it because it has been, you guys can't even see this this whole time I'm cutting this. Like, good job, Tiara. My bad. <laughs> How about now? Now you can see them. But I've been wanting to do this type of swirl on the inside for a while and just hadn't found the right design, soap design that I wanted or the right fragrance that would behave. And I'm going to have to do more like this. Let's turn it around. You can see the popsicle on this side. And I will leave at the end of this video the stamping. And I'm just super excited about putting my stamps on my soaps now. <laughs> super cute. Let's look at the top of this bar. Because I love this mint chocolate chip ice cream in bed. And swirls. 
and the top of it with the sprinkles and the cherry and the drizzle and the little ice cream cone. I am happy. All right, I'll cut one more and leave you guys with stamping at the end. Thank you, as usual, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel. I'm just saying you should probably think about subscribing if you haven't already. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments section down below. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day, and I'll smell you later. So I've been stalking the mailman because I ordered myself a, not even a new, it is new, <laughs> I never had one. I ordered myself a soap stamp with my logo on it and I'm excited to use that. So mailman drove off the street and I, again I can hear when he goes off the street <laughs> and then I stalk him until he gets to my house. He drove up my street and then he drove down my street and turned out of it. And I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure he didn't stop by my house. And as soon as I walked out there in the pouring rain to check the mail, he came back down. So, stamp has been delivered. And I'm really excited to use this. I will leave the shop link down in the description box. It is by 3D Geek, Geek, 3D Geek um, Printing. And they do a lot of other things other than stamps, but I'm excited to put this on a soap. And today's soap. All right, and then I have no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea. I don't know if it's something that I ordered or something someone sent me. So let's open it up. This is a surprise. No, it's not. This is from Rock and Roberts Designs. That was really quick. He sent me a couple stamps. One of them being a Slytherin stamp I already have, but mine broke. So he sent me a new one and he sent me this sorting hat stamp so I am excited to design a soap with that on it. So I'll leave the shop for him down below as well. So it's like stamp day today. <laughs>